video Ooh. we got right here mad we just got a box a war of the sparks box we are building we love the hype of magic gathering we're about to do an entire box opening on camera and it's about to be freaking awesome let's so, do it let's, let's do it. rock and roll john's gonna open the packs yes sir i'll be talking about it and we're gonna also gonna we're also gonna value these cards as they come out yeah this let's see what doing crazy good oh here we go here we go all right Ooh. I like the artwork on a lot of these. Yes. They're just so clean and crisp. Like, if you just collect the artwork, these are just fantastic. Fun fact, since, um, I want to say, Excellent, mm. the cards have actually been a little bit thinner. I think they're like 20% thinner. Look what we just yeah. got here. Whoa, what's that? Let me check it out. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. Chandra Fagerson. This card is a hot commodity. You know, go to their local card shops and, you know, buy their, you know, Standard decks. This is a lot of standard decks. This is mono red now. It took the place of a lot of other cards. And I can tell you right now, all the three closest Magic Pathing stores to me, this card is already sold out. I think it runs about 12 bucks, so. That's not bad Shoot. at all. We're making money here. Let's start. All right? Let's see what else we got when we come to the next pack. Yeah. So, Spellkeeper Weird. I've been using this in during drafts. Um, also, we're able to nab some good uncommons. Challenger Troll has a great little condition. You can't be blocked by. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Right. Sorry, guys. Keyser just gets down. He loves his stuff. <laughs> All right. Pouncing stuff. Honored the God of Farah. Or yeah. Farah, Farah, whatever you want to call it. There we go. We're, we're adding to some sense here. Yeah. Okay. 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 Getting okay. Comes. Oh, well, there you go. Stop right there. Ooh. Johnny. No, 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 no. Right it's Johnny's. Oh. That car is getting a lot of play right now. Is it? Oh, yeah. It nice. goes great with the white weenie decks out right now. I think it runs pretty high for Uncommon, too, in price-wise. That's not bad at all. Yeah. We got a Sphinx here? Yep. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man, that is getting a lot of play. And oh. Hate. Oh, snap. Oh, you got a Niz Mezit Reborn. That is a beautiful card. Boom. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, the look at that. that card is amazing. That is a beautiful card. All right, let's get yeah. these in some sleeves. Yeah, no, let's talk about uh, this uh, Salihi real quick. She's in the red, red, blue decks. Um, John pilots a red, blue deck right now. It's kind of teched in and um, it's got an okay ability. It makes a little one one, uh, you know, artifact tokens for war control. That's not bad at all. Not bad Dude, at all. that right there, that legendary creature. That is one beautiful card yes. here. Let me pass it's some beautiful, sleeves but over is to it you. standard Viper? One of each man. How are you going to do that? Yeah, oh, that's a little rough. Right? It's a little bit rough. All right. Well, while you do that, do me a favor. Put those in some sleeves. Yeah, on. I got you. All We're right. going to sleeve in this because I'm pretty sure John wants to sell it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. It's a beautiful card. I mean, I love the artwork on these. Yeah, do you know the story at all? Mm -mm. Yeah, this guy, uh, they res... Uh, the Planeswalker in your blue red deck reses that guy to kill Bolas. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Is there an animated short that we might be able to check out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. A lot of the snare spinners. Oh, so I'm gonna stop you right here the on, the on these uh, snare spinners. This printed card has actually put this card already exists. Some of you might might recognize it. It's named something else. I can't remember, but it puts that previous two mana spider out of business because it's strictly better at controlling the board with its reach ability. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Cool, cool. Giant growth is a good one. Ooh. Oh, one of inside. I like that. All right. Okay. Angrath. Angrath's not bad. I see yeah, the those mid-range decks. Oh, ho, ho. And widespread brutality. Heck yeah. I don't know if that card sees to play in standard one by one, but man, I played a draft, and the person who had that, they drafted two of them, and they wrecked. Oh. The mass ability on it just killed us. Look at that artwork. Yes. The oh, the poor baby crying. Beaut. And we got some Swampland, and yep. we got a little, little army here. Let's uh, let's just take a look at those two one-offs. Yep. And another thing, guys, you know, we're, we're new at this. We we, we we love magic. I mean, our, You're new at this. I'm definitely new at this. keyzar has been playing for a while. I'm super new, but, you know, I, I'm starting to play the game a lot. And w one thing I'm, I'm going to ask, if you guys are ever interested in these cards, we are going to sell some of the cards that we don't want. There's going to be a link to our eBay store. We're also uh, doing some giveaways, aren't we? Yeah, oh, yeah, big-time giveaways. Yeah, so I don't want to talk about that yet. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait till it comes out. <laughs> we got to get people to come back to the channel a little bit more, but make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can be in some future giveaways. It's going to come up. Don't worry, don't worry. Look at that. See, that's beautiful artwork. 
just the colors, the shading. Ooh, that's a beautiful yes, card too. That's, that's a good card. It's a good card. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's good. Okay. All right, Vraska. Ooh. Ooh. Commence the end game. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then we got a beautiful island. Blue one. All right. Let me let me get those last two cards. Okay. All right. As you open the next pack, we'll talk a little bit of this. We've got Vr Vraska Swarms Eminence. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a player, put a one plus one counter on this. So, I see people want to put it in their you know mid range blue blacks. I don't know if it's been doing well. It's my ability is awesome though because you can create a one one assassin creature with Death Touch, and it has Death Touch for Planeswalkers, which is nuts. It's only four mana. It's not bad. Is it great? I don't know. I don't. We'll have to see. And then we got commence the end game. The spell cannot be countered. It's it's just a it's um, similar to, um, what's that druid card in Hearthstone that did the, was a 10 mana one? Ultimate Infestation. It's similar to that. It does a lot of things at once and it can't be countered. So it makes your army, you draw cards. It's a little expensive for my taste, but I think it does have value. Okay. And, uh, we'll sleeve it. Yeah, let's we'll sleeve it. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get through these as quick as I can because we're already at the six minute mark and we really want to get through these pretty good. So uh, once, if something crazy comes up, I'm going to hold it up and Kizar is going to talk about it. Um, but that way you guys can take a look at it. So Keezer, please feel free to stop me when you see something fantastic. Oh, Ooh, speaking of fantastic. Nice. That's a, I think that's like running at $15 right now. Our local car store is out of this guy. Um, we're gonna sleep him right away. He's played in a lot of Esper control decks. Each opponent can cast spells only at the time they cast the sorcery. So it's great counterplay to those darn blue red decks that we all love and hate, but mostly hate. Oh ho! Ooh. Ooh -ho. All right. All right. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. I've, I've never seen, seen that one. I've seen it. Yep. It's run in mono white. Yeah, Revencia War. All right. Let me get those last two. Okay. All right. So. A little bit more of the spark in every single deck comes with Planeswalker, so that's why we're getting all these Planeswalkers. This one I have seen been put in a lot of uh, a lot of decks, um, but not red decks. I've, I've seen it put in just white decks. As long as it's your turn, creatures you control have first strike, so those white wings can kill whatever they're attacking. Um, equip abilities have one less to activate, and it deals X damage to tapped target creature, so it has a little bit of more control too. It's four mana, it's okay. Ravnica of War is a tech card for sure. It kills all multicolor permanents. It's backwards. All right. <laughs> all right. Well then, um, I'm gonna cut this out. But let me let me yeah. hold it up while you talk about it. I know I know you gotta read it. Read it real quick well, and then get back to me. The photo. I, I I can put it up. I'm going to. It just yeah. makes some more work. <laughs> yeah. We're back. Okay. Now let's see here. Tell me when the stop keys are. Ooh, there's some more of those. We're gonna have a set yeah, of that. Play set of that for sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yep. That's not I bad. Like those uncommons. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. This card is really valuable. Ooh -ho. Oh, we got the wolf maker. Oh my Lanza. Let's take a look at these real quick. Look at that artwork right there. Alright, there you yeah, go. Yeah, so we're seeing uh Narset put in a lot of decks. Um, a lot of the decks coming out right now, they're called Super Fun decks. There's a stuff full of these Planeswalkers, and this one's an auto-include because it gives grab stuff for you, and it stops people from drawing cards. It's got counterplay. Um, it's actually a really, really expensive uncommon. This uh, Friend of the Wolves um, is awesome. I love the idea of it. I haven't seen it successfully executed in a standard yet, though, in a high level. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that is a beautiful card right there. Sure is, devil. There's another one. Oh, that is a baller card right yeah, there. He's back. That I'm is pretty sure in the lore. That's the guy that puts uh, Liliana on her. Um, oh, spell. wow! Deliver it into evil. That is a beautiful card. Yeah, that is a beautiful card. Yes, we'll sleep that one right now, too. Deliver on to Evil. Two's up to four target cards in Graveyard. It's controlled Bolas. 
the Planeswalker return those cards to your hand, otherwise your opponent chooses two of them and puts them in your puts half of them in your grave or half them to your hand for exile. And then this card gets exiled. It's pretty good for three mana. Um, I don't know if I've seen this in high level decks though. Um, yeah, over here. We got to open it up. I'm, 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 I'm flying. Oh, I love that card. Three minute card. Talk to us a little bit about it. Yeah. Ooh, whenever a creature with power of four greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Yes. Negative one, untap a target. Wow. Yes. Oh, ho. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so I actually. Flying and tramples a yeah, four five. Four five plus counters out. I actually pulled that thing as foil. Wow. It's not a real pricey card. I wish That's it was. That's fine. It's a beautiful card. I, I tell you this right now, Apex Hybrid, when it, the standard rotates here in the next couple of months, this card will find a home, and it will be uh, the value will spike. Cura is good. Great, I don't know. It's three mana. She's three mana, which is good, and it is seven health with Planeswalker. Um, the deck is, a, I don't know if I've seen the deck run her yet, though. Oh, look at the little kitty kid. <laughs> yeah. Little kitty kid. All right. Oh, we're getting a lot of heart fires here. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. That's good. Statue, yeah. Oh, my Lanta. You got it, Ugin. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice. What, what hollow is this? It looks like it might be a common. Oh, an uncommon. Uncommon. Right. Okay. Something. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. We'll sleeve it. We'll sleeve it. We'll sleeve it for now. Ugin's great. Ugin I is. I for my Eldrazi deck modern. Uh, so, keys are, uh, you want to buy that card off of me for $20? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe just check your collection tomorrow and see if you still have it. Oh, snap. Hey, everybody at Loot Box, you want to see Keysar get knocked out today? <laughs> uh, if I can open this back. Oh, man. Struggle's real. Bottom discipline. We've got a foil one, which is nice. Tap all creatures your opponent controls. Creatures you control gain the life of the end of turn. It's a good swing thing. It's a little expensive for my taste, five mana. But Uka the Ineffable is awesome. Yeah. Colorless spells cost two less to cast for those Eldrazi decks in modern. And it's got some pretty good other abilities too. Destroy target permanent that's multicolored and exile the top card of your Ooh. library face down. It's a 2 2 spirit creature. When it leaves the field, put the card in your hand. Look at that. Look at that right there. That's a beautiful looking card. <laughs> yeah. John's a heart enthusiast. Ooh. Oh, we got a Nissa. Yes. Yeah, Ooh. buddy. Another nice little expensive. Don't I already card. have one of those? Yeah, you're trying to get a place that. I thought you're close to having a place that. Yeah, I am now. I think he has like two of them already. This, this, this is a great card, about a $10 card. It's um, almost sold out of the local shops around us, but it is a win condition. This minus ability is nuts. It makes all of the lands that have been destructible. Which sounds, sounds nice, except for its up ability, it makes your lands into creatures. So it can make your entire board indestructible in how many turns? In three turns. It's nuts. Wow, that is pretty dope. Oh, we already got a set there. I'm pretty sure that's our fourth one. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, so that that, if you notice, it's two of the guilds coming together. So that's the theme of this, all the guilds coming together and a lot of the artworks. Oh, them. my. There's our Planeswalker. That is a beautiful card. That's a good fatigue, Planeswalker. And he got a freaking oh. god internal around us. Oh, my Lanza. That's a card. Wow. Can't be killed. This is. These are some great pulls here today. Yeah. These are some fantastic I'm pulls. I'm sure what... God Eternal Ronus is running right now. I know you want the God Eternal, the blue one. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> that one's it. That one's I want, I want it hollow. Death Touch enters the battlefield. Double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn. Those creatures get vigilance. It's nuts. And if it dies, you put it you put it in your back in the library. So it never, never goes away. Sticky. That is fantastic. It is legendary. And by the way, if you guys hear the oohs and ahs, we got people playing Smash Brothers in the other room. It's, <laughs> we get we get pretty competitive here yeah. at the box. Ooh, the spark isn't it? A, that's a pretty decent yeah, card. Everybody's spark. playing. Yeah, the spark is good. Ooh, look at that plane yeah, walk. That gives you a ton of life. Yeah, it does. You yes. gain life equal to your greatest toughest. Um, uh, what? Yep. Among creatures you control. That's yeah. Cool. <gasps> Oh. You got a vehicle, legendary vehicle. Oh my, Atlanta. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. That is expensive, is it, but it's a beaut. Is it worth? I don't know how much it's worth, though. I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at yeah, it. Yeah, we'll though. take a look at that. Flying, first strike, vigilance. Whenever this creature, this vehicle attacks, create an angel token. It does have a little bit of a high crew cost, and it does cost eight mana. But 
four four angels is not a bad not a bad gonna be going now. Let's, we're gonna try to speed it up here a little bit more, folks. Yeah, dude. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a hollow in the back. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. not bad. We don't know much about him. Oh, ho, ho, look at that! Ooh. Legendary zombie elf wizard. <gasps> oh, and then uh, oh, that is a beautiful card. Look yeah. at that. Well, well, we'll sleeve it. We'll sleeve it right away. We'll sleeve it just in case. And when he starts opening the next pack, I'll start talking about. This uh, lich thing. It's not really seen a. I don't know the price tag on this guy actually. It does have tramples 5 4, but it deals damage to a target player, Planeswalker, return. Turn a from or Planeswalker from your graveyard. That wasn't put here, so just comment to your hand. It's okay. Four mana. That's a beautiful card there. And a foil on this grizzard looks nuts though. All right, here we go. And they've got another bond of passion. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful card. There it is. There's our Planeswalker. Like it's not as good as Chunk. Um, Ooh. Ooh. All right, I love this card. This card is like an auto clue to any of those. <coughs> so remove a counter from an artifact, creature, land, or Planeswalker you control, draw a card. Yeah. That's powerful. It's nuts. It's a 2-3 for 2 mana. Um, I'm surprised this card has only stayed around the $2 mark. I think this card will be a lot more valuable. And it's just such a power creep. Soul Diviner. I want to play these really bad. I have zero right now, so I got a long way to go. Oh, well, keys are in. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> you know somebody that got one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, I love the. What are they? Did death? Is that what it yes. is? Yes. Dude, John's, these so cards. Right? I'm brand spanking new, ladies and gentlemen. He is loving the artwork. He loves the. the I love the detail. Y'all I expect him to make making a black deck. Oh, yeah. Pretty Pretty gangster. I got a lot that I can that I can do with. Ooh, Ooh. I love the Wanderer. It's a great, Ooh. great tech card. Look at that. That's beautiful. Prevent all non-combat dam non damage, which is awesome. And exile turn creature it's a control card for four mana. And I can exile two creatures. That's nuts. I love the Wanderer. Great uncommon. I just is already in a bunch of sideboards. Is what's up. Is what's up. Also grabbed Awakening of the V2 Gazi, which is like a land. Is that nine tails? <laughs> it's nine tails. Oh, there we go. There's oh, the second one. Oh, my God. Ooh. There it is, the one I just liked before. See, like, Dude, I know no, these I cards. This one. I I'm framing this one. Yeah, I know these cards aren't worth a lot, but this artwork is just so beautiful. Yes. So beautiful. Of the hey, put, put put a sleeve on that. I got more sleeves behind me if we I'm need. Sleeve it. it does yeah. look, what about weird. all these planeswalkers? What are we gonna do with those? Yeah. Well, are they, are they worth sleeving? I think we're almost to a place that these shards are. So you could, uh, you could just swing that. For, eBay. Uh, for and this might be a good. This might be a good time to plug our eBay yeah. again. By all <laughs> means, in the description of this video, there will be a link to our eBay account as well as at the top right hand corner of our YouTube channel. There will be a button that you can go to our eBay store. Yes. We'll be looking to deal with maybe some tests and some chandras. Yeah. We're, we're definitely about helping other people out. Yeah, so we're going to miss the channel on eBay. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. We, we'll give everybody. So just give you guys a heads up while we, we take a look at this beautiful artwork. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a look at the pricing of the cards. And we're going to probably not price them at market value, but a little bit less just to help everybody out. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. Ooh. Look at I that. haven't seen that card before. Let me see it. There you go. All right. I've seen Dobin. All right. Okay. We're about halfway tax. through. Still been taxes, pretty nice. Solar blaze. Each creature deals damage. Oh, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, board wipe. It's a great one at getting rid of tokens. So those white green pesky. decks that are actually really, really good at competitive play. Solar blaze would wipe that. A little pesty freaking tokens that yes. you killed me with yes, last game. All usually even stat. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we got a couple more uh, play sets. Yeah. Ooh, a land. Yeah. Not bad. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have yeah. a play second there. Yeah, and the most so rare here. I haven't seen this one either. Dreadhorde Invasion. Huh? And it, oh, it's an enchantment. So say something that at the beginning of your upbeat, you get to lose one life and a mass one. So every turn you're getting a 
a zombie token or a token under his own control. Whenever a zombie token you control with six or power, six or greater attacks, it gains the lifelink. Okay, so it heals you too. That's not bad at all. Yeah. It gives counterplay too. I like that about Ooh. magic. Ooh. There it is. Okay. Arming, discard, discard all cards in your hand, then draw that many. Plus one, you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Yeah, that's, that's, that's powerful. Oh, this is number two for me right yeah, here. He's got two cards now. Oh, my body. God. So it might be a good idea if you're holding on to these cards to think about, if you're not using it in your deck right now, thinking about maybe dealing it soon because it's been under discussion of the a Magic Gathering competitive scene that they're going to start banning cards. So there's been a lot of complaints about it because it's nuts. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. If you minus ability is only two, you can choose an artifact from that you own from outside the game or an exile, reveal it, and put it in your hands. I think as a, a standard, you can only take it from your sideboard, but it's still, this card is still getting a lot of hate. Oh right man, look at that. Oh, we got a Gideon Black Bay, dude. That's like a $20 card. That is fantastic. That's nuts. Oh! Oh, oh my, my God. Atlanta. Holographic Jace. Oh, man. Shnikes, Batman. Oh, Look at that God. beautiful artwork. That's probably your best pull pack yet. Dude, right? A $20 card. Like a card and then... right there. Dude, I... <laughs> the Blade is sold out of not only like the big places like Star City, it's also sold out of our local shops, too. Everyone just puts this card instantly in. It's a three mana permanent 4 4 creature, and it's Jace. Jace, if you were to draw a card while a library has no cards in it, you win the game instead of lose it. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, and not to mention it's hollow. That is fantastic. Okay, right, here we go. Yes. All right, that's let's do this. Point. Let's do this. Okay, okay. Oh, there it is. You got some place that's oh, that, oh. Like, like be, though. Can't be counted off. Wander again. Ooh. Oh, okay, now the that one actually mm -hmm. is Ultimate Infestation. Oh, wow. Yeah, when you start with the next pack, I'll read it. Okay, wow, look at those. That Those are some good cards. All right, so right you heard some players. This is a Magic's attempt to, you know, copy that Druid spell. When this enters, it deals four damage. You gain life to the da to the damage dealt. You put the top four cards of your library, of the opponent's library, into their graveyard, and you amass four. Wow. It's nuts. I've seen this run a lot already, and it's for control decks. That's fantastic. Yeah, here we go. I think it has a good price point on it, too. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we got we definitely got play sets of a lot of these, yes. which is fantastic. Yes. Okay. Okay, all right. She's good. Ooh. Okay, this card is nuts. I drafted this card a couple of times when we were doing some World of Spark drafts. Man, it is. It kind of goes put the target on your face, but uh, Feather the Redeemed. I don't know if Feather Redeem fits in the lore though. I think she's a reprint. So basically, when you cast an extra sorcery spell, you can extra that card instead of putting it in graveyard. If you do that, it goes back into your hand. Wow. This card's nuts. That is pretty nuts. nuts. Man, you're pulling some good pulls right now in this War of Spark Draft. I love it. I love it. Okay, Gateway. Yep, another wolf. Wolf. Yeah. Okay. All right, a lot of those. Okay. Oh, oh! I just got a holographic in the last War of Spark box I pulled. That is fantastic. Yes, this guy is a dragon maker. I love it. Yeah. People are trying to get mid range ready to come back. It's not really taking taking hold yet. Mono red is still a little too fast for it. But when it rotates out, this guy's gonna be a problem. The massless minus three create a full four token Sheep dragon token that has flying. Until the end of the turn, each planeswalker control becomes a four four. Red Dragon and Game Flying. That's fantastic. And it has an aura ability. Whenever oh. a creature attacks you or a Planeswalker control, each dragon control deals one damage to that creature. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yep. Ooh. Spark Double. That's I haven't bad. seen Spark Double oh. run yet. The Planeswalker that was pulled there was each, it was a uh, Wild Crafter. I can't even say his name. Yang, Yangu. He's a token maker, three mana, pretty cheap. Um, he does do good with wolf decks. I'm tearing open up these freaking packs. Let's go. Let's go. You see the carnage over here, Messenger. Oh, it's ridiculous. The word of spark carnage. It's ridiculous. Ooh. 
That's a beautiful card. Yeah. Ooh. Oh ho ho. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. And you got the molten tank. I've uh -huh. been seeing this actually teched in some red decks. It's a little bit slower than just the straight sparking and spectacle cost cards, but it has trample. And when you cast a spark, it gets boosted. And it only costs one to crew. So your fanatics got fire brands from crew. I like it. That's fantastic. Like it. Here we go. We're just going after it, ladies and gentlemen. We Good. got just a few packs left. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, time, time wipe. wipe. All right. Oh, wow. So this one I have seen. Okay, let me just. I have seen this for controls. Not picked up all the time, but it's it's good. Let's see how many packs we got. Let's here. Let's, so board wipe. let's make the two one step. Colors. Let's go. Let's go. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Bolt blend. Yeah. Whoa, -ho -ho. Ooh. Ooh, I love it. This is a great pull. And I drop it. This pull I use all the time in the and you guys match the gathering arena players. Man, this card is nuts. It gets bigger. It's perfect for your aggro decks. It gets bigger every time it gets because it, it has haste. Sad is one one, but it's only two mana haste. If it deals damage to a player or a planeswalker. Gets plus one plus one as a permanent one, and when it dies, it can deal with damage to the target equal to its power. That's fantastic. So even if they kill it right away, you could probably flank something. Um, this is an auto clue right now. This Rakdos mid range decks, and it also could be a little bit faster. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. The voice of the pack. Ooh. Oh, this sounds. <gasps> oh. Legendary. Oh. Freaking. And what's the what's the. Oh. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a beaut. Wow. Hey, let me get that god in the sleeve right now. Oh, my Lanta. This, I think you should probably put this, think about putting this god into one of your decks. Really? Yeah. The one that you... Trample. Whenever it deals da damage to a player or a walker, you can discard any number of cards. If you do, draw that many cards at the end of turn and add that much mana. So you, can, you have something to cast them with. This will replace the... Uh, the experimental frenzies after the rotation. That's fantastic. Yes, that's my four mana, and it gives you mana. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. The press point is on these guys. Here it is, boom! Got another one. Ooh. Vivian's. Oh. Oh, and a foil. Ooh. Uncommon is that uncommon or common? Okay, okay. We'll sleeve it. We'll sleeve uh, Vivian's arrow too. I mean, we're gonna have a playset of those, those planeswalkers. Yes, playsets. Man, like that's it. So yeah, we talk about Tibble. It's a good counter deck to those lifelink decks because it makes them they can't gain life, and it makes little one ones that deal one one. Be careful. All right, the turn sky lily. Yeah, be careful. Five mana. Oh, it gives all your zombies flying. Really? That's actually pretty fantastic. Cool. This is a great draft card. Shoot, I don't think I've seen this. I've seen this in one of my drafts yet. Ooh, okay. The creature. Right. Right. That, I like oh, that one. look at that. All right. That is... I like that. The card before that it kills planeswalkers, most of them. Move up to five. Counters from a planeswalker. Yeah. Huh. It's not bad. That is pretty not dope. Bad. Okay, here we go, you ladies and gentlemen. For all these planeswalkers for your makeup. Last five packs. Last five packs. Last five the packs. The best pack's been the Gideon pack. Yeah, by far. Yeah, so this Vivian card is pretty good. It gives your creatures flash, which is awesome. I love it. And your spell's pretty good, too. No escape, Grim, Makeshift, Wrangler, Giant, Ban, Spell, Wow, Horde. Ooh, there's another yep. one. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. And then there comes the boar. The Legendary creature, God, boar it? god. Yes. Ooh, a wall of ruins, Ooh, holographic. Man, that freaking artwork. And we got a playset. So we got four wall of ruins now, and one of them's a holographic. Yes. That is fantastic. Yes, with this raised boar, though, five mana trample, six, six. Man. And never goes away. It's sticky. I like this Razor War. I think this, I don't know the price point right now, but I think it will see center play. 
I still don't know where it fits in the lore of the lore of the Spartans. Oh, we saw what our planeswalker is going to be. Already know it's the Bane of the Dead. Ooh, Neo form. There it is. That's our second one. Ooh, I think Final that's. Season war. I think that's my second one I pulled too. Uh, really? The last box I had had one. Do you have uh, more sleeves, John? Yeah. Um, oh, we already filled up. Yeah. Uh, two seconds. Oh, I'm gonna be back to you after this commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let me do this. I got it. You can keep going. All right. Here we go. Remember, like 31 minutes. Yeah. Oh, I'll be able to hear it. <clears throat> We're uh, back. Oh. <laughs> You're fine. I, I'm going to edit all that out. All right, final three packs. Let's do this. As you open that pack up, we do got exciting news. Our studio is almost finished, so we can get back to doing our gaming this week, which you know, all the announcements, PlayStation. Man, you see all the PlayStation news? Back Dude, the right. And the Xbox merger? Oh, man. So... Look, can I share that with you guys? Okay. We only okay. get the Dragon Shield. Okay. Please. There's a plug, free plug for Dragon Shield. Uh, oh. Ooh. What do we got? Okay. Don't read that. I like it. I like it. It gives us a great. This, this card on the rotation is going to be a staple. And there it's going to be three mana Planeswalker that gives you mana so you can play things on curves so comfortably. And it has an aura. And this down ability is the classic red green fight. I like it. That's awesome. I like it. All right. I'm pretty sure Dom is the place where that dies in the lore, though. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. Poor guy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Two more packs. The countdown's being real. We want Lily. Give us Lily. Okay. Okay, all right. Another Dove, okay. Ooh. Another Soul. I'm okay with that. That's yeah. really cool for me, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. We got two of them. All right, final Soul pack. Man. Final Man's pack. All right. Nuts. Let's get some of that. Uh, Drumroll action. Let's get some of that. Here we go. Final. <laughs> final. <laughs> Here we are. Final pack of our World of Sparks box opening. Here, a loot box. Woo woo. I gotta figure out a better way to open these. I'm terrible at opening packs. Value here. These are the cards we've been sleeping. Most of these are planeswalkers, and a lot of them are really expensive planeswalkers. That's fantastic. And right, here we go. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Ooh, that's a beautiful card. Okay. Ooh, Thunder Drake. Drake. I haven't seen that one. Bay the city. Here right. we go. Okay. All right, all right, all right, another cure. Ooh, Ooh, this guy is nuts. Is it? This guy is nuts. Look at Every it. Every time he attacks, he gets plus one, plus one, and he makes, at the end of the turn, he makes that many goblin tokens. Ooh. Man, we're playing a draft. One guy drafts this guy, and he won just because of this one card. That's incredible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that does it. There is all the cards. There we is plane it. walkers. A plane walker graveyard right here, dude. Look at that. We already got two there. We are going to be good. Plane walker go. graveyard. Those are all the cards we've been sleeving. Yeah, buddy. Loot box TV. Deuces.